Hey, and welcome to the Dr. Gratitude official channel. I'm so grateful that you have made it here to this channel. And if this is your first time here, hello, welcome to this channel. Please like and subscribe and follow this massive journey. My mission and my goal is to have an attitude of gratitude and I wanna spread that worldwide so people can have life satisfaction, optimism, hope, love, peace, and of course, gratitude, because that's what we're here for, having that grateful heart. I'm taking people on a massive journey from day one to day 365 days of thankfulness to transform your world. In these episodes, I am sharing a little daily challenge, then I'm sharing a journal entry, which is published in my journal. And then on top of that, I'm actually sharing some of my personal journal entries just to take you on the ride of what gratitude actually looks like and how deep I go with it and what actually comes up when I do these evening reflections. Sometimes I'm like halfway falling asleep or I'm really tired, but I just to have that peace of mind, like I sleep epically and my sleeps have been really, really good. I've been tracking them lately and it seems like my sleep is on point. So today's challenge is inner child work. I want you to think about what were the events or what were the fears or what were the th- what are the things that trigger you off is it not feeling good enough is it not feeling love have you noticed that there have been triggers of you experiencing rejection what is that in your timeline that has crept up and brought you to this point right now what i want you to do right now is use your opposite hand and i want your younger self to write a letter to your future self and then I want your present self right now and write with your right right hand and the hand that you write with and I want you to write a letter to your inner self your your past self your younger self and I want you to have that conversation and see what pops up for you express those feelings of gratitude for each other express what you've seen what you've heard what you've experienced or for your younger self is what do you actually see in that present person right now? And then from your present person right now, what can you say to your younger self on what they can look forward to? And this is a great way to work on your inner child and work on those inner traumas and heal those parts of you that may have been broken, may have been upset, some of the traumas that have gone on. And listen, it is okay to cry. This may bring up some feelings and emotions. Just sit with them. Give yourself that hug. Maybe it's a matter of giving that visual and imagining your younger self with yourself and like at the end, just hug that inner child and know that that inner child, that younger you is loved, is good enough and is absolutely amazing and just give right now I'm just visualizing my own younger self and just give that hug knowing that this inner child of yours is loved and so deserving of love so this is going to be a huge challenge today massive one massive emotional one massive breakthrough one if you want to send me an email and tell me the things that have popped up or you do need to reach out and need a bit of coaching, I'm happy to help you on this pro- process of it. It can be quite challenging. It can bring up some stuff, but know that your inner child and you is so deserving of love. So that's your challenge today, some inner child work. And this was something that popped up when I was having conversations this morning during sunrise. So it was absolutely, absolutely magical. And I'll share the sunrise with you right now. Let's get into it. This is the book and journal that we have been following for now 54 days. Dear God, with gratitude, 365 days of thankfulness to transform your world. We are into day 54 and I'm so grateful we are up to here. Dear God, I am grateful for electricity, aren't we? It is amazing, like all these lights that are lighting up my room, it's amazing, this simple thing, if we didn't have electricity and I've experienced blackouts, man, it really puts a spanner in the woodworks because we rely on a lot of electricity and take it for granted so grateful that I'm able to do my work. I'm able to be with you guys because my phone works and my phone gets charged by electricity. There's just so many components on, 
I'm actually really grateful that I've got all of this stuff around me. Like that's abundance there. Thank you, God. I'm grateful to take the time out to rest my body and take it easy with what I have achieved. I'm grateful to sleep and rest. I'm grateful to be part of a friend's journey as they complete their cert for in fitness. I pray for their success, financial stability and pray to God that it leads them to a path of love, connection and health. And I do wish that person the best of luck. If they ever tune in, you know who you are. So yes, this brings us to the end of our episode and I want to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this short little video, short but really deep and meaningful one, one that we're deeping right down into our personal development journey, healing those parts of you, that younger self of you. Take the time out, give yourself that space. If you need to go for a walk, if you need to do some meditation after, do those things that will nurture your heart, your spirit soul, your spirit, your inner child. Just give yourself all that love today. I'd love for you to share in the comments some of the feedback, some of the things that popped up, or you can simply send me an email as well. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And remember, take the time to like and subscribe to this channel. And remember, lastly, gratitude is the best attitude. Peace out.